What is up, everybody? To reverse TV today, and we have to talk about this completionist, this uh, charity fraud scam. Allegedly, I'm saying that because this guy is saying he is suing people <laughs> who calls him out on this charity thing, this controversy. So I'm gonna say it allegedly because I don't know all the details here. I have not dwelled deep into this rabbit hole of following this whole Gerard uh, completionist uh, charity thing, but this is a deep rabbit hole. Like apparently, he is very tight knit with a lot of big Nintendo influencers on YouTube. We have pretty big channels, and they have been defending them every chance they get. But if you are just completely out of the loop of the situation, you have no idea what is going on. Who is this Gerard the completionist guy? Apparently, he was a big YouTuber um, who did a charity fund for almost probably a decade at this point, at least like five years to a decade at this point, where he's been collecting money for these for this charity. And apparently, he hasn't been donating the money at all until just recently, until other big YouTubers who weren't Nintendo YouTubers called him out. There's been a lot of backlash for why he's just been keeping the money in a certain account, so... That is like the quick synopsis of what's going on here. And he's been featured in this Sea of Stars game, which was, was which was put into Game Pass not too long ago. That's how this story is. I know about this whatsoever because of the Sea of Stars game. Apparently, he is the character from the game called... um, What is it called? The NPC in Mirth called the Constructionist. And it actually has his real name, Gerard the Constructionist, so... He has a piece of dialogue saying the place feels complete now. We really have something special here. Thanks again for your help. And he also has a scene where he says, have you found any new donations? So that is very, that's very, that's something right there. He talks about donations and the thing while the whole, he's been in real life. He's been accused of donation charity fraud. So I can see why the developers have to save face and remove him from the game. So apparently they're going to patch him out. A small patch will be going live on Steam and be submitted to console soon to replace the PC builder, the NPC, and Mirth. We've arrived at the decision after carefully monitoring events over the past few weeks, and while it's not our place to pass judgment, we do make it a priority to maintain a positive and optimistic space that reflects the spirit of our intentions, be they creative or otherwise. So they don't want to be caught up in this negative press that this guy's getting right now, so they're going to remove him out the game, so remove his character out the game. And so... And people have some pretty good claims. Like, once again, I've been following this too closely. But they've been saying that he's pretty much been lying about. He's been lying about his uh, good deeds, so to say. So, there's a video of somebody breaking this down who has beef with this guy over this situation. So, I'm going to play that clip because he can explain it a lot better than I can. So, let's play it. And the icing on the cake is that when me and Mutaha spoke with Gerard, he outright admitted the only reason they were looking to donate the money now is because he was faced with the prospect of this going public. Yeah, that makes okay. sense. So as of now, the money, as far as your understanding, that six hundred sixty thousand dollars roughly, is still sitting in your like that that charity account, waiting for a benefactor at the right time. Uh, I mean. <laughs> As of this week, we've been we've been having conversations about moving it as early as as today or tomorrow, just because the pressure I got from you guys. If I'm being quite honest, so that is a lot of money. The six hundred sixty thousand dollars, a little a little bit above a half a million dollars. That's a lot of money, and they're just now he's just now doing something because of the pressure he got. So I don't know. It seems kind of shady to me, but who knows? He's maybe he's just really just dense because. If you, that's something that you don't mess around with charity donation and stuff like that when it goes as opposed to going to a good cause and you just sitting around on that money nah, that seems a little scamish to me but that's just my thoughts allegedly if you don't know what he's doing <laughs> so I'm not going to speak on it but that seems a little shady in my opinion right there Um, not that I was trying to save face but like this is a, a private fight that I've been dealing with for months with my family and I, I even told my family, hey, this is the last Indie Land I'm ever going to do because this is the 10th year anniversary of my mom's passing. And uh, when I oh, kind yeah. of found that's another point that people talked about too. Him using his mother's passing as just like so a way that people can feel sympathy for him actually stealing money from people. So I don't know. Once again, I haven't delved too deep into this whole situation because I don't really care to be honest. It's kind of messed up. Like this dude is doing scamming people he needs to be called out but 
if he's not scamming people and he's just dense, then I don't know what to say. Like, he needs to get it together at this point. Like, that money should have been donated. If you had that, that money in the account for it that long, why is just not even being donated when people call you off for it? This thing is very sketch, in my opinion. Information out. I was very unhappy with what things were going. And um, he knew this was deceptive and wrong the entire time. I'm not trying to ask for forgiveness. I'm not trying to hide this. But what what would you guys like me to do? Because I I want to do right by everyone involved on my side, and I I want to absolve myself of this as best I can. And I know I can't. And you know, you guys are some of the biggest creators in the space. When you guys will whatever you guys will say, this is gonna follow me for the ex the rest of my life. And I just want to be able to to do right by by you guys and by my community and by my family at this point and i just want you know like i'm i literally am am, am about to like donate all this money today and 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 prior to that earlier this week and the week before and i've just been sitting here crippled trying to figure out the best way to handle this because i felt like if i donated the money the minute you guys emailed me it'd be a situation of well he's trying to hide it and he's admitting gu guilt by doing that and I never felt that way, but I understand completely that you guys could easily argue that, and it would just make me look more like a scumbag. And, um, you know, I I just want to, you know, I, I want to do right by you guys and what you think. Even if I survive this somehow, even if this is like, people are like, well, whatever, that's how it is. It's, it's going to take the passion out of what I do. I like, no, I'm, I'm, people aren't going to trust me ever again. I'm not going to trust myself ever again. And I'm just gonna walk away from all of this. Like I, I just, this is like me being like, great, so I'm out. Not just a, a of content creation or, or being an online personality. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna disappear and start over and and never talk to anyone ever again. The simple. Whew. So there you see, there is some definitely some rough rough patches going on with this guy with this whole situation. It's not pretty at all. So. I don't know who to believe with this with this situation right here. I don't know if this guy is just a genuine good guy who just got lost along the way. I don't know. But this is a crazy situation on the list. But let's see if you've got to say about this. Um, this guy openly states in the call with them that the only reason he has donated the money is because of the pressure mounted by these two individuals. Then threatens them with a lawsuit claiming slander. That's the part I heard about, that he's trying to sue some of these big YouTubers for saying they were slandering him. And still his creative friends are here sweeping under the rug as trauma. Yeah, that is... I've been seeing especially this guy <laughs> being proud of. <laughs> the big YouTube, one of the big YouTube channels like defending this guy, just saying it's just drama. I was like, really? Drama? And I was like, he's taking people's almost a half million dollars from people who donated it? I don't know. I don't know if that's just drama. It seems like it's some fraud, allegedly. So, whew, it is definitely some crazy stuff going on with the game community. And I'm mostly just focusing on Sony and Xbox stuff, but this other, <laughs> this other stuff is just wild. Like, jeez. This is some wild stuff going on. People are dedicated to consuming YouTube content and their favorite creators. They're still defending with the stages of grief. It's the damn shame seeing a decent gaming creator go down like this. The completionist really is completed. Uh, personally, I think there should be an investigation to the financials of, of this charity itself to clear up any more confusion. That way we can, can definitely prove if there was wrongdoing or if he's innocent. The fans deserve to know that their money wasn't misused for years. This has been going on for years. Like This is just craziness. You would, like I said, once again, once it comes to donations, stuff like that, you want to get that thing to settle with instantly so it could be no, so you can have, so you can have no blame at all. But I don't know what's the purpose of waiting for years with people's money that you just, just want to donate. So this is just a wild situation right here. Um... Removing, removing him out of his scummy actions is a huge W for the devs. I'll get Secret Stars now for that reason. I mean, the game is great, regardless of this whole drama or controversy. The game is a great game. For the brief time I did play it, I did enjoy it. So, it is on Game Pass and PS uh, Plus as well. So, I still can't believe that this is happening. I try not to set expectations for people I idolize. But that doesn't mean that they can't get away with this. 
doesn't doesn't mean they can get they can get away with this. It's so sad watching that the completions did this to his reputation and the goodwill of his fans. Deserved. John Tron got patched out of ukulele, so there's a precedent. <laughs> I remember that guy too. Oh man. What's up with these big YouTubers? <laughs> All you have to do is just donate the damn money. Wow. I mean, this thing is charity fraud. Like, what? The man is a manipulative criminal. Carl just released their entire Discord call on Gerard. It's absolutely disgusting. And he was holding the back. He was holding back to help Gerard because, wow, it is damning. He shouldn't have lied about donations. Uh, once again, this is all allegedly. <laughs> allegedly, because this is some crazy stuff, man. I don't know. I'm not going to delve deeper into this whole situation here because it's like Reddit threads, Twitter discussions, YouTube videos made about this. You can probably spend hours upon hours looking into this whole situation. So I'm not doing that, but I'm just going to give you a sample of what is going on um, in a gaming community outside of this PlayStation and Xbox. Apparently, there's some crazy stuff going on, especially considering donation, alleged donation fraud. So I'm going to include it right here. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below about this. Leave a like if you like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.